Hey guys, um, this is Fresh GFX, and I'm about to show you guys how to make a pretty simple SIG for game bows. So, first, just open up a 300 by 300 um, pixels, and you want to get the GB background color, which is this QB3036. You want to get that as your background and make a new layer after that. And um, next, you're going to want to grab some text, doesn't really matter. I'm going to use blackout, you can find it on defont.com. Pretty simple. And I'm making this for my friend, so. Alright, mine's a little screwed up because of this. Alright, there we go. So I'm gonna have it. Mm, I'm gonna have it red and a little bit bigger. And now I'm gonna go to effects down below all the layers and hit up some drop shadow. This pretty much just gives it like a sticking out effect an inner shadow and an inner glow and for the inner glow I'm gonna have it black and make sure you put the blend mode on normal that makes it look a lot better and then um, some pattern overlay and the honeycomb effect you don't have to do this but I like it and I'll show you guys how to do it on another video I make after this so, uh, let's put in a stroke. There's a lot of cool things you can do with the stroke, but I'm just going to keep it simple, black, and small. Put it on a 1. Put some uh, bevel. I don't really like it all like this, so I soften it up a bit. It gives a pretty nice effect. And next, we're going to want to make a new layer and go to your uh, brushes and you want to find the brush with the, like the glow outer side and you want to get the five nine might work so I'm gonna try nine next you want to go to your pen tool and first you want to click right here or hold on, click right under your text and go up and then down and then up and then down and then another up and you're good and then you want to hit right you want to right click it and then stroke path make sure you have simulate pressure and brush on okay mine's blue right now and then you want to delete your path and go to effects since mine's blue I'm gonna change the color overlay to white and I'm going to put some outer glow on it, which is going to probably be red. And it looks pretty ugly right now, but that's all good. So we want to zoom in and get out your eraser. You want to have one over the text, and then you're going to want to delete this line. So it looks like it's going behind the text, like this. and then another one over and then another one under and then you can zoom out and see your font looks pretty good huh so next we can um, put a little shine on the text you want to make a new layer over your font over your text layer and right click the layer and hit create clipping mask next you want to go up to your elliptical marquee tool and just make a big circle over your 
of your text like this. Next, you're going to want to go to your paint bucket and get a big white and fill in your circle. And then after that, you'll see it looks like this. And you're going to want to turn your opacity down a little bit. So like 30, 20, around there. Okay, so it looks good. And you're going to want to go back to your marquee tool and go to deselect. Now that you have that, um, you're probably going to want to make the canvas a little smaller. Okay, and then you just want to entitle it with your name. So, I'm going to do my good sexy title. I like to have it small so it doesn't take a lot of space. And this font is um, Bank Gothic Medium, so it's pretty good. I like it. It's one of my favorites. 14. And then, oh, I want to go to Gradient Overlay. And go up to your Gradient. And I'm going to want to make this one a light gray. Like, probably like this. And I want to move that to the middle. And then I want to make another one right here and make this white. Like that. And put a drop shadow on it. And then I want to play with this a little bit. Make it look a little good. Like that. Yep. Looks good. And then I'm done. So thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe.